Hi, I'm Corey. Welcome to Creating with Scraps. I wanted to share something that I recently learned and discovered with you because it has cool applications for junk journalers and paper crafters alike. I was finishing up a charcuterie that I was making for an event that's coming up and the handles that I had selected had this old metal finish and I couldn't find screws that worked for them. So I did what we all do in 2022 and I went to YouTube and I looked for ways to age metal quickly without necessarily using that, that rust thing that we do with the salt and the vinegar and that kind of a thing. And I watched this video and I thought, well, I'll see how it works. And it worked like a charm. So here is the silver zinc screw that originally came in the package and here is what it turned into. And you can see how much better it looks like. So this silver screw would stand out like a sore thumb, whereas this aged metal screw looks a whole lot better. So I'm going to, sh I of course immediately thought, well, how would that work for us in our junk journaling world? And it works like a charm, not with everything, but with some things. And this is all it is. I started with this to see if it would work. And so I took one of these um, ribbon crimps in I'll put that there so you can see it in the, the bright silver and then I put I used the, the chemical that was re recommended and it turned this way and it doesn't rub off on my hands it doesn't rub off on my fingers it's some kind of a chemical reaction that I don't completely understand but it changes the color of the metal to like that grayish oldish blue and I put a couple different things in here to see if we could maybe I haven't played with it very much but to see if we could maybe find other things that it worked for and I did find some that it didn't work for and all it is and you can see oh the the guy on the video said there's three different kinds of metals that screws come in and zinc worked the best and so I grabbed zinc screws and so my reaction well, with the, the initial change was with zinc. Now I have no idea what most of the stuff we use is made from, but you can see it worked across the board there. So I immediately tried it with paper clips. I used an old paper clip, one of the ones from Tracy, and then a new paper clip, but these are not the plastic coated paper clips, so keep that in mind. And uh, this was my result. I don't know how well you can see that. But those are the results with the paper clips. And I thought that was really, really pretty cool. So I thought I'd try a couple other things and, and see how well it works. And what it is, this is the brand I got because they had it in stock at Walmart because I, of course, wanted to try it immediately. But it's called Super Blue Liquid Gun Blue. And again, they had any place that sells gun supplies and cleaning things and such will have it, well, if they have it in stock, like Cabela's will carry it and Amazon carries it. This was $8 and change at Walmart and they had a couple different brands, but I thought, well, you know what? I'll try it. So I went and got it and I'm going to put this here so I don't get it on my charcuterie, but I don't know what will work and what won't. Great example. When I first opened it and I saw that it worked so very cool, I grabbed this metal dog tag and it kind of left a little bit, but, but not much. It didn't change it much. It's not quite as shiny as it was, but it's not super dull. And I had this bright gold clamp and this bright silver clamp. And again, it changed it a little bit. You can see it's kind of got a little bit. It was super bright and shiny. It's got a little bit of that. So I'm like, oh, okay, well, maybe, maybe it just depends on what you put in it. And there was another one. Oh, this this charm that I tried and it didn't change the silver but the engraving on the inside it says Grand Mare, it made it darker so I thought well let's play with a couple different things that might apply in our world and see what it does now you only leave it in for a few seconds I originally thought oh, I'll just dump and you know what maybe I will I'll put these here and I'll dump this stuff in here because there's no reason so it is blue it's a blue liquid I don't know it doesn't say anything about being toxic but then again I can't read those itty bitty words and oh here I was going to show you so these are my pliers that I use for jewelry look at the difference okay these the ones that are now this blue black color started out life as this color so you can see it has a permanent effect but it doesn't rub off I mean it doesn't hurt it at least I don't think it does anyway so let's let's see what kind of reactions we get this is one of those um Oh, you know, to put our books together, our albums, journals. And I, again, I don't know what the different metals are on these things, 
but I don't know that it has a notable effect on that. So I don't, I don't know that I see much difference. Here is one of those ribbon crimps like I showed you. Okay. Here is the silver, bright, shiny silver ribbon crimp. I think you can see that. You toss it in for a few seconds. And okay, why did it not do that? I wonder if it has to do with me putting it in this bowl because it worked yesterday. That is interesting. I wonder. I wonder if it has to not be in the bowl. Maybe it has to be in the plastic bottle. I don't know because look, you can see the difference there. And it didn't it didn't change it. Well, let's try it didn't change it. Well, I guess it's a no, I don't know that it's a little darker. Let's see. Like I said, I haven't played with it at all. I just dunked them in and called it good. Here's here's another one. This is almost the exact same thing. Let me let me try this. Maybe it has to do with the plastic in the ceramic bowl. So I tuck it in. Maybe I didn't leave it in long enough. Maybe I was supposed to shake it. I don't know. Oh, no, you can see. See, it's working here. So maybe it's the ceramic bowl. That is interesting. See? So this one worked. You just dry it off. Obviously, you can see a little bit on my hands there, but that, that dries off clear. And then this one didn't. Interesting. So maybe don't, maybe don't put it in a ceramic bowl, or maybe these two clips are made with different things, different materials. I don't know. But we won't be using that bowl anymore. This is just one of those, um, we used to have that spinnery tool that we put our craft supplies and such on. I, I had it for like three seconds and never used it just because it was a dust collector, but I thought I'd check and see a lot of us have these. Oh yeah, see look, it worked kind of cool on there. But it's not super dark. I mean, so it's just a few seconds. I thought I'd see a couple different things. Like I said, the paper clips is one for sure. And Oh yeah, there it is. Maybe it just has to go deeper. Maybe I needed to just shake this up it would help if I read the directions. So that worked really cool. Maybe it just I didn't leave it long enough. And I'm this, I'm going to try a Tim Holtz binder or um, not binder clip, uh, wheel. Uh, oh, I don't know if it'll fit in there. Hmm, maybe maybe I'll just dunk it in this and see if it's if it's just there for a little while. Maybe it'll maybe it'll do something magic. Well, let's just leave it there and see. No harm, no foul. And here is some of that beading chain. Put that in, see? Sorry, I'm, if I'm out of focus. Uh, don't really notice much change there. Here is one of those silver bevel deals. Oh yeah, I can see a little bit of difference now. Yeah, maybe you just have to leave it in here longer if it's not as concentrated. Because look, you can, uh, well, so my hands aren't working too well. But you can see the difference, difference here on that. It's not nearly as shiny, it's a lot, a lot more dull. Oh yeah, that's working here. Look, you can see the, the reaction in the bowl. It's making it darker and I don't know how long we leave it in there, but you know what? Let's just dump some stuff in and see. Oh, that one a lot quicker. And here's a charm, a bicycle charm. Let's just dump a bunch of stuff in here and a letter V charm. There's a gold one. I thought we'd try the gold one and see if that worked. Oh yeah. I can see the bicycle changing color for sure. Oh, that's cool. Some jump rings. Now, I, I don't know what happens if you leave it in here a long time. I haven't played with it enough. I just got it. Oh yeah, you can see that reaction taking place. And the longer you leave it in, the darker it gets. Look how cool that turned out. Oh, slick. Oh, even the gold one changed color. Look, it's almost black now. So maybe don't leave them in too long. Hmm. I guess it just depends on what it is. Oh, look at that. The scissors. Oh man, that turned out. I'll zoom in just a minute. I'll take these things back out and I'll, I'll zoom in. I wonder if this copper paper clip will work. 
So it's changing the color of just about everything we've put in, some more than others and some faster than others. But it looks like, oh here, see? Even that, that charm, it's darker. It's not as dark as some of the other pieces. So I guess the idea is with different metals, oh look at that, that's a book charm. Different metals are gonna give you different results. Different lengths of time are gonna give you different results. Oh, this is one of those eye clips or eye pins. Look, it's black now. How cool is that? And I don't want to say, I don't want to mislead you. These are dark for sure, but I wouldn't call it necessarily black, but it's close to black, like gunmetal black. Now see the, the copper? Well, it's not nearly as bright, but, and then here's the letter V. Yeah, so actually just about everything had a reaction. The reaction changed depending on what metal it was and the length of time that it lived in that, that solvent. But here, I'll, I'll, I'll um, I'll zoom it on in. Oops, that way. I'll zoom it in so you can see. And it just I just tap it off or dry it off, and that'll take care of the metal. It, like I said, the ones that are dry that doesn't have any transfer at all. Um, here we go. Let's 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 do a better sample than that. These don't have any transfer. The ones that are dry already, nothing. I mean my hands are filthy now because of what I've been just playing with and it's liquid. So maybe wear gloves and how long will that stay on me? I don't know. But look, oh, that is cool. Really, really like the effect. So there you go. If you need, oh, I really like that. Um, let me grab a regular bicycle to show you. I have a whole bunch of the bicycle charms. Uh, let me show you how, the before and after. Okay, sorry, I probably should have had that ready, but I was excited. So you can see the difference in the bicycle charms. Uh, can you see the difference? Yeah, see the difference? It's a lot older looking. Anyway, so if you're needing something to make your metal pieces a little darker, more aged looking and what have you, gun bluing and it might come in handy. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for experimenting with me. Take care and happy creating.